Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Gipper Barnes, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install Minecraft shaders into technically any Minecraft version at the moment. Now, um, if 1.14.4 doesn't have one, you know it's because it just released, but um, I'm going to be showing you the programs you're going to have to have to be able to do this, and as well as how good your PC may need to be to be able to do this. So, Right off the bat, the, the best one, if you have a decent PC with, a, with basically over 3 gigabytes of video card, or an equivalent to basically a GTX 1050, you're probably pretty much good to go with any of these, um, except uh, maybe the really, really, you know, really strong ones, but the ones I'm showing today, you should be able to run pretty easy. So, I think it's called Spli Splydrus Shaders is what I think it's called. Um, I forgot what it's actually called. Or it's called Sliders. Yeah. Anyway, you just want to go to installation, and here you can just find you know downloads from this dude, and um, and you can basically find the uh the one I think I pick is the is um I think he actually just added this one, but I think this is the one that uh, I usually use. But today we're just gonna go ahead and get this one and test it on out. So yeah, if, uh, okay, it's disabled. So you're gonna have to go through AdFly, don't click anything here, don't click Deny, just don't don't click anything here. Just wait for that zero to turn, then click Next. And if it tells you it's it could be a dangerous link, it's because basically, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's from AdFly. I mean, most links from AdFly are dangerous. That's a short measure of saying it's kinda dangerous, but if you can find one that's not from AdFly, you're probably booming. Anyway, now, if you don't have Forge, you're gonna need to get Forge. Um, I already have Forge, and most of you probably already know about Forge. You just basically download it, install it, and, you know, that's really all you need to do. And the next one you're going to need is Optifine. But I'm going to have to get, I'm going to have to get Forge anyway for the newest version, so don't worry about it. Um, I'll go, I'll show you how to do it. So anyway, Optifine, you want to pick the latest version. So 1.14.3 is, 1.14.4 is not out yet, so we're going to have to try 1.14.3. And just get this five seconds to load once again. Click skip add. Once you're here, you just want to click on that download link. Let that download and you're all set if you have Forge. But now we're going to have to get Forge because I actually don't have Forge for it. So um, you just want to look up Minecraft Forge 1.14.3. And you should be able to find it here in the Forge form, and find the one that's for uh for for 1.14.3. You may need to click one. They have one for 1.14.4, but there's not really any mods out. That's why I'm showing you on 1.14.3. And you can't do up to find on 1.14.3. So I mean four. So yeah. Anyway, just click the installer. Give it a couple seconds. It will download. You want to click keep. It Google just tells you that because you know. They ain't antivirus, there's no antivirus, and these ain't dangerous. I mean, if you don't trust me, Optifine, Forge, and all of these have been downloaded by millions beyond like by beyond millions of people. So the chances of getting a virus would mean that basically someone would, you have to click on a fake link and I'll put all three links of these in the description so you won't have to worry about that. Alright, so once you've done that, you just want to minimize this, drag all three of these to your desktop so you can basically remember where they're at. Okay, after you have this on your desktop, you want to basically click on Forge 1.3. Um, I might already have that, but I don't know. But I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. You want to double click on it, and I forgot to tell you, you're going to need Java. So I'm pretty sure anyone that has Minecraft has Java because you can't run it without Java, right? <laughs> Alright, so after that, you just click Install Client. This can take anywhere between 10 to 30 seconds to maybe even 10 minutes. So um, it all depends on your PC. So uh, I don't know how fast this will go for me. Uh, I have had this one fail a couple of times, but 1.14.3 is pretty buggy. So if it doesn't work for you, tell me, and I may can um, see if I can find another version of it that will work for you, that will work maybe from another website or something. 
Um, but I'm pretty sure this should work if you're actually using a legitimate version of Minecraft. Now, if you're using Titan Launcher, I'm pretty sure it won't work because that's the crack version or the crack launcher that doesn't work. So, yeah. And anyway, if you guys wanted to find out how to get Minecraft for free, um, just check out the channel. About three days ago, I had that. As you can see, it told me it couldn't. Uh, it may be because I know exactly why it ain't working. I did not run. I don't think I ran 1.14.3. So, yeah, I ran 1.14.4. I didn't run 1.14.3. So, we'll have to go ahead and run 1.14.3. What an idiot. <laughs> Making a tutorial and I forgot to do it. So, you're going to need to... I may actually already have it, but I'm going to go ahead and run 1.14.3 again. And where did it go? Alright, and we'll play. Why do you keep on going back to that one? And let this download. It shouldn't take too long because I have the newest version already downloaded. And I forgot to mention that if you are, if you haven't already, um, Subscribe, please subscribe to the channel and help me out. Um, I'm actually getting some pretty good views this month, and I'm just hoping that we can get all this to go through good. Anyway, uh, I forgot to mention, but you're going to have to run this at least once. Run whatever Minecraft version you're wanting to put Forge in or Optifine. It has to be ran at least once. Just let it completely load up like I am right here, and you should be perfectly fine. Just let it completely load up. After it's loaded up, you can just close it out and reinstall it. Now, I don't know why this has to be, but for some reason... If you don't let this do it at Forge 1.14.3, it will not work. And you have to have Forge, I'm pretty sure, for Optifine to work correctly. So I don't know if this will work. Um, it may not work. Uh, this Forge may not, but usually, yeah. Okay, it worked this time. So you see how I just had to run it basically and it fixed it. So now we got that. We can move this over here. Now we can click on Optifine. Now this is one that doesn't really open by itself. We're going to have to click on Open With and then Java TM Platmary or whatever you call that and you want to click install on this one it will say optifine successfully installed and now you just want to keep your shaders here now you want to do is go to your minecraft launcher and basically just find um the one that we just made optifine it may be forge the forge one i think is also an optifine so just click play let's just load You probably want to have to minimize this if you want this to be able to add in the shaders, but um, depending on your PC and device, you may have to go what you call overload to let it run, So, which means like let your PC run over its head, but I don't know if you should do that. Anyway, after that, you can see you can go to video settings and you'll have a shaders icon now. So you can go to the shaders folder. You just want to click that. This will pop up an empty folder. You just want to keep this open, drag in that folder and you can just basically close this I'll go back to your minecraft and there your shaders will be so you'll have to let it reload it won't take too long and i forgot to mention too optifying actually makes minecraft run a lot smoother even if you don't have a shader it makes it run smoother because it basically takes it gets rid of all that gritty stuff in the game that's like a bunch of like wasteful code that ain't doing anything it's just sitting there you know bogging down your computer so optifying actually makes it a lot easier to run and you you may, not, you may not be able to tell right off the bat, but in the last video you could say my PC lagged right off the bat because of Minecraft. And it lags the big channels, pe people's too. That's why, I use, that's why everyone uses Optifine now. But anyway, right off the bat, you can see how... Now, I can basically make my FPS a little bit better. If you don't know how to do that, you can just go to Max FPS, and you can just go to Unlimited Max FPS. And that will help your frame rate out a lot as well as doing that. Now, for me, it's not the best right now because I'm probably running this a little bit too high for my PC. Um, which usually I don't like to run it that high in the first place. I'm fine with running it at one times. But uh, anyway, um, that's how you, you get Minecraft shaders. And I don't know why it's been a little bit laggy right now. It's probably because I'm recording at the highest possible recording frequency I can so you can get a pretty good lighting or whatever. Anyway, if we press F5... Well, hold on. F5 here. You can see how much better this looks. Um, sorry for the FPS. Um, next time I'll cut down the screen resolution. Well, what happens is when I record, it takes up basically about a gigabyte of my video RAM. So 
it really makes this a lag on the recording. It's not that it's lagging in the game. It's just lagging really in the recording so that you can't really see it that well. I mean, it's still technically playable if you don't mind a little bit of lag. And also, you can fix, if it is lagging pretty hard, you can also fix that by just like making it like four chunks of loading. And then you can see basically, you know, it's a lot smoother now than it was. And yeah. So if you enjoyed today's video on how to install Minecraft shaders, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.